Hey everyone, happy Wine Wednesday and welcome to the Swirl Suite. So this is the second half of day one of the Black Wine Experience. Um, we have two interviews with Mohamed Moretta of Le Cool Champagne and Larry Boone of Boone Selections. We have a good time with these two guys. It, this, Like I said, this is the end of day one. So everybody's feeling good, pretty lit, loud. <laughs> we had a good time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Cheers. From the gang, just drum roll, celebrated 50 years mm -hmm. two days ago, In July 3rd, 1969. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. But the irony is that they've been on the road 54 years, years. nonstop wow. touring band longer than any other group in the history of music. Not just a black band, want right. to make sure that's understood. But at one point, you know, they had to change their names because, you know, the Godfather of Soul was like, mm -hmm. those were using the, the flames. It was right, Cool right, and right. Flames. <laughs> nah. So they became Cool and the Gang. July 3rd, 69 is when the record Cool and the Gang was released, the single, the album. Okay. Wow. Okay, so fast forward. I'd been in retirement, basically. I was like the black Hugh Hefner in L.A., doing mansion <laughs> parties, you know. I was not too impressed, but I, you know, I had private jets and just, yeah, whatever. I thought I was, I was the man. Mm -hmm. So I meet this French girl who was on vacation, because French people don't need a visa. They can come to America as long as they leave within three months. Yeah. Right? And my partner, is really crazy Jewish dude, was dating a girlfriend, and she was like, talk to the hands. So you a DJ? When's the last time you DJ? Oh, you a songwriter? Last time you wrote a song. I was like, in my own house. And then one night she came to my studio and she was dancing. I mean, you like that? She goes, I love it. I go, I made it. She goes, sure you did. I go, I'm serious. <laughs> I made it. So she sits next to me for the first time Aww. in three weeks. In my, and when she saw what I did, I muted out the vocals. Mm -hmm. She was like, and these are the words. And you women have a way. Oh, yeah. She goes, let me tell you something. Until you do what God put you on this earth to do, mm -hmm. and that is music, to touch the world, you will never be happy, and you will never be with me. Wow! Mm. wow. I was like, no, you like that challenge did. though. And that's I got goosebumps. That's that challenge. So she was able to do what my mom couldn't do with all my family to get me out of. I don't want to say the cesspool called LA, but but out of the rut or it's, just it, out to of be the honest, normal. honest, honestly, LA is a great place. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, right? right? But like she said, everybody's an actor, mm -hmm. waiting tables, whatever. Right. Right. You're paying your dues. Now, I didn't necessarily have to pay the dues because I started at a young age. I never right. thought, like, what do I want to be when I grow up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was I was who I was, right? right. right. But I was in denial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we met on the road, what was supposed to be a two-week thing. We met in in, uh, in Amsterdam for a big music convention. And then I ended up going to Monaco where I reconnected with a good Ooh, friend of mine. Spot. And and look, and she she was just like, Right, I still don't believe anything you're saying. <laughs> so we end up in Paris. I get a phone call, Amir. Mm -hmm. Mohammed, where you at? I go, I'm in France. He goes, so am I. I'm like, I'm in Paris. He goes, so am I. What are you doing tomorrow night? I go, what do we want me to do? Right. He said, meet us at the Zenith. We're performing. So I go, Olfa. She's my manager now. All right. Olfa, I got some friends performing at Zenith. Who are your friends? <laughs> I go, cool in the gang. She goes, okay, sure they are. <laughs> I'm like, damn. So we go to the show. Keep on going back for more. Right, right. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Because he's going to prove it to was, her. Right. It was exactly. pressure. That's what that it was. It was pressure. It was pressure. So, exactly. So thank you for allowing me to vent. This oh, is therapy. Okay. Okay. Let, let That's me know. Good. Let me know where I got to send a check because they get paid. <laughs> they don't do this for free. Okay. Right. So so now just gonna drink some we get backstage and she's seen all this love because they hadn't seen me in years, right? Then she pulls me aside. She goes, what's going on? I go, well, you know, 1982. Uh, she goes, you did what? And now and you're doing what now? She goes, nah. I need to meet Cool's wife. There Who's the go. boss? Mm -hmm. So we meet Sakina, and this is very important, everybody. Please listen to this part. So Sakina, may she rest in peace, mm -hmm. was the gatekeeper. She was like, oh, okay. you know what? I ain't trying to. She got the swag, like talk to the hand. Mm -hmm. She took all for talk to the hand to the next, next level. level. <laughs> right? So she's looking at her like, what you, what you got to say to me, girl? She says, well, Sakina. I'm French. Last time I toasted, I didn't use Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola's got a campaign called Celebrate Good Times, mm -hmm. right? She's like, I toast with champagne. Y'all need your own champagne. Mm. She was like, I like this girl. Like, I like your spot. Mm -hmm. And Cool was like, Olfa, as a matter of fact, we've always dreamt of having our own champagne. As a matter of fact, it's called Le Cool, and we'd like it to come out of Europe. She's like, I got gotcha. you. Oh, nice. And that day, we became partners with Sakina and Cool mm -hmm. in a company called Just Cool. Mm -hmm. So Just Cool isn't about forgetting Cool in the gang. 
Right. It's about leveraging the name and likeness because without cool, there is no game. Exactly. Uh, and by exactly. the way, I don't want to give it away, but there's a documentary movie in the works where people don't realize that cool was actually a real gang leader. And you heard it first so, here exactly. on so, this world. So that's sweet. the dude. Let me tell you. You type in the word humble in the dictionary, mm -hmm. his face will pop up. Wow. But wow. Dynamite comes in small packages. Like That's so all I got to exactly. say. He's in the cut. He plays That's that bass. Enough. For years, people thought Cool was the lead singer, which yeah. is JT. Yeah. Was okay. it? And again, when I get into politics, it's all about Cool. It's yeah. Right? In, in, in 54 years on the road, mm -hmm. he has never missed one show. Wow. Now watch this. This is all true stuff. So it's about to go down. He's right. the coolest man in the world. We're going to get him Literally. in the Guinness Book in the World Records. In yeah. the Guinness Book of World Records. Because... He missed two shows because he had a problem with his wrist, mm -hmm. but he was in the audience. So technically, mm -hmm. he didn't miss he a show. He missed the show. Okay. Now, right, when, right. when Sakina got sick uh, about a year ago, he was by her side every day until she passed. And that was about a seven month period. Mm -hmm. wow. But other than that, he's right now he's in Paris. So, what up, cool? Hey, hey cool. cool. You know, he can't, can't wait to meet you. you know, he can't be here, but he, his spirit is here in, yeah. in full, full effect. effect. Right. Okay, so let's get to what's going on right now. Right now. Okay. So, when she goes, I got you. We formed this partnership, and the first thing we started doing was the official Cool in the Gang after parties, where we're the only group in the world that does this, and I'm proud to say it. You know you know when you go to an act, you see the concert, then you go to the after party. Mm -hmm. They're sitting in the corner with their bottles and their yeah. champagne, mm -hmm. talk to the hand, right? right. Mm -hmm. Walk up to somebody, and they're like, whatever. Like, listen, stay home. <laughs> right. right. Why are you going to come out if you're not going to support? support? Not get yeah. it if you're having a private dinner. Dinner. Yeah. But you're there to the people that put And you're in Thank you, Isaac. Exactly, yeah. Leslie. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So... We looked at that canvas and we said, we're going to flip it. So what we do, we do, we did uh, 50,000 people in Hong Kong, for example. Mm -hmm. The Just Cool After Party was a place called Zuma for 500 people. So Olf and I, we come into town early, mm -hmm. set things up. Cool and the gang leave, we stay a little later mm -hmm. so we can close some deals. Exactly. And it's all about a calling card. So the after party had 500 people, about 100 of them were the biggest business men and women mm -hmm. from Hong Kong. Mm. Right? And so now what happens is when you come to an after party for our show, Cool is the, he's, he's holding court, right? right? Okay. In the beginning, he just stay at the table. Now he's the maestro, he's rapping, he's <laughs> singing. Amir, Cool's younger brother yeah. I told you about, he's out on the guitar. So it used to be just the three of us. Now we have Walt Anderson, who sounds wonderful. He's the right. youngest member of Cool and the Gang. He sings with us in the after party. Okay. So we do a jam session in the club mm. or in the restaurant, wherever it's at. So we give you the music you've known and, and loved for all right. these years, but with the sound of today. Wow. So what I'm very proud to say, and remember you heard it here first, yeah. this is the first time in our lifetime where parents and children are sharing music. Yeah. So 80s is now the new sound of today. Yeah. Exactly. Now no disrespect to the Pharrells of the world, and right. the people like the Bruno Mars, is, right. but at the end of the day, listen, you ain't gotta act like you invented it, just come to us and say, oh, can we get down again? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know? exactly. Because we keep this in mind, we get better, we don't get bit. Right, 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 right. So right. tell us how the wine you weaves into this whole thing. You're toasting with, you know, you don't toast with Coca-Cola. Correct. You mm -hmm. toast with wine. Right. And how you got started, because this is 100% French Wine. Absolutely. It's not, it's Absolutely. not a it's not a American sparkling. sparkling. Right. It is not a, a cava, it's yes. not a prosecco. Yeah. How, it's how a, that evolved. Well, because Ulf is French, as I said, mm -hmm. she I mean very familiar with that. And she actually loves champagne and so does cool. Mm -hmm. And so does DT by the way. DT is one of the original members. Mm -hmm. He's on horns. And he's one of those guys like, don't even bring me that crap. Mm -hmm. So we knew we had a barometer, a very mm -hmm. high barometer. Yeah. So with that in mind, she decided we need a Grand Cru. So, lucky for us, we have a very good friend of, our, of ours named Eric Amore. Eric is from Senegal, mm. but he sold more champagne than pretty much any human being on the planet. Nice. He's the co-owner and co-founder of a brand called Nikki Beach. Nikki, Nikki Beach, Beach are, is everywhere. Exactly. Nikki Beach, Monaco, St. Tropez. <laughs> yes. Yes. St. Bart. And St. Bart. By the way, by the way not, not to drop names, but you could Google this. Ace of Spades. Blew up, up at Nikki Beach. Yeah. In Nikki Beach, St. Bart's, mm -hmm. New Year's Eve. I think, I don't know if Jay and, and Beyonce were married at the time yet. And I'm going to say something that's crazy controversy without getting too deep. Watch this. <laughs> we watch love this. controversy. You ready? ready for this? Ready for this? Okay, so they perform in St. Bart's because there was a guy, a head of state, I won't say his name, who's like, I want to do a party at Nikki Beach, St. Saint Bart's. I want the whole place. And everyone's like, I can't give you the whole place on New Year's Eve. But he goes, like, I'll take 11 tables. And I want the biggest artist on earth. And he was like, Beyonce. 
They booked Beyonce. When Jay got there, there was another champagne that was supposed to be put on all the tables. Mm. And Jay was like, Eric, mm, now, nah. or else I'm going to call my girl, tell her not to perform. Ooh, wow. That's power. That's Jay. That's so power. now, they put the bottles on the table. New Year's Eve, St. Bart's, Nicky Everybody's Bates, everybody. Ice spade. Right? Now wow. wait, now wait, now wait. Guess whose party it was? I can't even imagine. How Ka long ago was this? Wait. wait. Gaddafi. All what? right, so we're going to leave it at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. And uh, not long later, about a month later, he was gone. Right. Yeah. But that money it went to charity. I'm just saying. Oh. Okay. Oh. I, wow. I mean, I don't know. And you heard it okay. here on the swirl. Okay, so, so I bring this up only because I want to big up Eric Amor. Right. Mm -hmm. So Eric Amor, he saw so. what we were doing. We were already doing it. We had a couple other vineyards. And he was like, no, 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 no. Cool. Muhammad. Oh, for coming. And the Sakina was still alive. Mm -hmm. And it was all it's all about Sakina's dream, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, now nah, I'm gonna take you to the to the top. So we, we connected with the Devavri family and Bertolo family. Now, if you look at the Michelin guide, they're the number two family on the planet mm -hmm. in terms of champagne. Mm -hmm. But they're all related, cousins and brother mm -hmm. and sister. So, you know, they do Don Pignon, mm -hmm. they do everything. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is they gave Cool his own lot. So really? our grapes only go in our box. Wow. It will never wow. go in anybody else. And it's in a place called I, A Y. Look it up. Right. Out of the 300 villages, only 16 can put Grand Cru on the box. So we're one of those. Okay. And, 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 and I'm glad you had that question because we said to ourselves, okay, we don't want the brand to be based on cool. We want the brand to be based on quality. Mm -hmm. Once you get past the quality, right. then cool is a bonus. Right. Exactly. Not like you're like, oh, this sucks, but marketing and promotion. Right. No, right. it's great. Marketing and promotion and cool only mm -hmm. will bring up the brand. Right. So now we have the, the standard coming as well. We have the rosé, right. okay. you know, the Blonde de Blanc, which are all going to be a little lower price point. But again, we need to come in the market as a luxury brand. And that way we go, first and foremost, we wanted to go to the core audience of Cool and the Gang. Now, Cool and the Gang, yeah. without bragging, there's a couple billion fans around the world, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a brand that has never been tainted, which yeah. is very right. important. That's you know? exactly mm -hmm. brand. Yes. Yes. It's oh, like, cool. for everybody, if you ever gone to a Cool and the Gang show, it's like, Six, seven, eight, nine years old to ninety years old. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know. So back to the La Cool Champagne. Yes. We talked about you do. You're gonna do a rosé. You have a blanc de blanc. So this is Pinot Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yes. Eighty twenty. 20. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Outstanding. Yeah. Right. Now I don't drink <laughs> at so, all. Okay. But so I like to watch. You know what? Olfa disappeared. Olfa. 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 And then we're gonna get his wife over. Olfa. We want you to come on over. Speaking of the French girl. And by the way, she started off as my manager and was like, we got to keep this one. So she's now my, she's now, she's now my wife. How cool is that? How cool is that? <laughs> the swirl sweet over is... So lean in so we can just see lean your face. Lean in to see your beautiful face. Just lean in. Oh, lean oh she's, she's like, she's so shy. Why are you saying oh, on camera? Oh, oh, she's like, and, and no, not right now. I'm working. <laughs> Let's make this work. <laughs> so she pretty much manages a little cool concept, mm -hmm. which is, of course, just cool after parties now. The cool champagne, but guess what, ladies? We got something coming for you. Oh, Sakina okay. also has her cosmetic line coming. Oh, we're gonna do ladies' oh. night, ladies' night perfume. Okay, mm -hmm. right? We already have just cool cologne for the okay. men. Okay, okay, is that a little bit? Oh, 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 look at that. You did that off camera, but that was like, she's a pro, right? Exactly. Here we go. C'est pas sur la caméra, on voit pas. That's one. Just wait, pass wait. It on. Yeah, there you go. Now we oh, see it. Yeah. There you go. Do it right. There we go. Okay. Baby, we can do it. Oh, you can do it. Take your time. time. Do it right. <laughs> we can do it. Look great. <laughs> do it right. Come on. <laughs> okay, so you know. Oh. Now, back to the Coca Cola, right? Oh, show the. Oh, can you do this? Because you brought up a very good point yesterday. Yes. When you pour. Oh, yeah, show sure. the bottle. Yeah, Montre le nom de la bouteille. Yes, you. No, but on the side, when you put it on the side, like that, you see the name. Right. Yes, yes. But when you put it on the side, I'm going to hold it on the camera. When you put it on the side, there you go. There you go. It's been so cool. Yeah, it's been so cool. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, the label is sideways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Cheers. Lahain. Salut. Chin chin. By the way, Lahain in Hebrew means life. Mm -hmm. So I was raised Orthodox mm -hmm. and Lahain is is high. High is life. Right. And it's 18. They all go together. So when you say Lachaim, you're really saying to life. To life. life. Is that beautiful? To life. So we life. celebrate life. life. So I decided good to work with Mr. Robert Kulbel because he's the coolest man in the world. Ah. And the ah. again here <laughs> on this world suite. The coolest man in the world dot com. It's coming. No, we're not stopping. No. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now. Yes. Oh, so we're tasting. Mm. Yes, yes. Drum roll, please. You could tell on your on your facial expressions if it's what was the face what does the face say because mm. the face don't lie Very good. <laughs> it's really good yeah and we, we didn't even get to chill it that long no. by the way big up big up to the black wine experience big yeah. up to Tahira Jess Peters who's our product manager here in, in Louisiana in, in the beautiful city of New Orleans now I know we were discussing about a few other things obviously a little off the record in terms of New Orleans, what do I think? Mm -hmm. Don't get me started. Come on. <laughs> well, I told you my background. I'm Dominican, Haitian, and Italian. Mm -hmm. Born Jewish with an Arabic first name and an Italian wow. last name. Yeah. Right. right? So I speak five languages and understand seven. My favorite language? Drum roll. Creole. Creole. But not really? just any Creole. Aicianos or no. Haitian Creole. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you ask about New Orleans, okay, let's do the math. In 1804, when... IET became the first independent black nation on earth. One of the first places they came in 1805 was right here in New Orleans. So this is Haitianville, baby. Know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I've only been here once before. I came in 1999. Mm. Yeah, yeah, to, to, to Y2K. Y2K. And I was in the French Quarter with like a million people. And you know, normally when the, the clock strikes one, like they say, like, yeah. 10, nine, one, everybody screams. Well, you're, again, you're too young to remember this. But Y2K, the minute they counted down, it was three, two, one. One million people paused. And then it was right. like, hey. then yeah. they screamed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Right? I, I was here. It was crazy. So, I read about it in the history books. So, yeah. uh, yes, I Because you are yes. yes. So, La Cool Champagne, if our viewers wanted to buy this, What's your distribution going to be like and where will they be able to find it? All of that information because I know what's going to happen on all of our social media contacts. It's like, Can how did it taste uh -huh, and yeah. where can I find uh -huh, yeah. it? Because if you all endorse it, yeah. we want to taste right. it and yeah. we want it. Well, so, uh, that's a very good question. Yeah. It's important to know one thing. Just Cool Enterprises, at this point, when it comes to the champagne, it's myself, Olfa. Uh-huh our businessman partner mm -hmm. the man with you know cool and eric amore we move like cruise ships mm. but we also have a speedboat on the cruise ship. gotcha okay. so we don't mind having a big party but when it comes to making the decision mm -hmm. throw that cruise ship to okay. the side get on the speedboat okay. so here's what i'm gonna offer to you guys okay this is the first time we've ever been in oh, front of any audience. I love no, it. No, no, no. It's the first time we've ever been. This is true, though. It's the first time we've ever been in an audience talking about the champagne, which actually launches today on the website, lecoolchampagne.com. Yes. Uh -huh. Lecoolchampagne.com. Yeah, and that can be shipped anywhere in the world, oh, including nice. China, if nice. you go on the website. One of the biggest consumers. But, but what I want to say to you is that this is from the heart. We believe in one person at a time. Oh, gotcha. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you are giving us this platform and mm -hmm. an opportunity. We'd like to offer you the opportunity to work with us and tell us whatever you want us to do that we can do together. Oh, now, okay. now, Cool is in Paris now, like I said. Uh, we're going to meet him again, Olf and I, on, on the tour on the 27th. We'll be playing at Avion, which is off Lake Geneva. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's for the Avion, you like the water? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Avion. Yeah. yeah. We're also negotiating with Avion to have our own mm. 50th anniversary bottled water. But we're performing there for, for the you 20th. non drinkers. Exactly. <laughs> we're performing there for the 25th anniversary of the women's golf tournament, mm. the LPGA event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After that, off and I are trying to come back to America mm -hmm. to continue with Cool, but we might just meet him elsewhere. But here's where I can tell you this is mm -hmm. an immediate collaboration. Mm -hmm. I believe it's on the 28th. We could confirm that. Mm -hmm. But it's a Harlem, I think it's Harlem month. Okay. So they're, okay. doing, they're doing an event in New York. In New York, in the Harlem. Okay. Correct. And uh, WBLS is involved. Woo! Cool has some new artists, Fatih, 
who's from Africa, right. uh, Prince Hakim, who's cool son, who's a right. DJ. So they're gonna do something with BLF, and then I believe the after party is at Red Rooster or something. So I'm, Red Rooster, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm totally yeah. out of the loop. So, yeah. but you know, kid from Brooklyn, and I'm a tourist in New York. I'm telling you, <laughs> Brooklyn has changed. I love. God. I'm telling you, <laughs> what is that about Barclay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what? Anyway, so yeah. so I'm saying to you, nets from now Jersey, that I'm right? kind of giving you some dates, mm. we will give you our itinerary. Okay. okay. And okay. what we want to do is again from the ground up, like I said, you know. Cool and the Gang went from jazz to pop, but right. it's never forgotten where they come from. Exactly. Yeah. And we want to do the same same thing with the champagne. Okay. Exactly. You know, because we've got to come into the community. we got to make it, right now it's not your average champagne that anybody can go and grab. Right. Because, you know, but even if someone bought only one Grand Cru just right. to have, exactly. yeah. and then wait till we get the other products in the marketplace, right. we want to put it in front of everybody that, so, you know, that's an supported. Another very crucial question that folks might ask. What's the retail mm. price point of Lacool? So if they were to get it shipped to whomever, or if it was sitting on the shelf, what could they expect? Because you know, sometimes okay. people don't Well, want you're to asking them. a very important question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different laws, mm -hmm. et cetera, around the world, especially in America. Retail. Especially yeah. in America. Okay. Give us a range. range. Well, well here's, here's what we've done. It's, it's the wholesale price in America is $40. Okay. 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 Right? okay. Yeah. So, you got your mark so the retail price will be, depending if you're talking about supermarkets, and we will eventually be everywhere. Okay. Yeah. It'll be about seventy-five to hundred. Gotcha. Okay. And okay. in gotcha. the restaurant, it'll be one twenty okay. to one fifty. Okay. okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But here, here's the irony: in Europe, because it's obviously right. made over yeah. there, right. the the retail price is forty euros. Right. Wow. Okay. Which, because right? you're not import yeah. fees, uh -huh. import exactly. taxes. Right. 40 exactly. euros. So right. if you want to get on a plane, you can go get yeah. our champagne. Right. You know. Just say, you know, save right. a few bucks. So yeah. here's <laughs> now to give you this. Save a few bucks. <laughs> save a few bucks. Now is to give you the and next level. Experience. And this is where it becomes a little interesting. We do ship it all around the world mm -hmm. right now. But if you wanted to just get one bottle and you're in America, you could pay the 40 euro price. Right, right. But the shipping is like 80 it's bucks. 80. Yeah, <laughs> so well. really, it comes yeah, back out. It comes yeah, back down to that 100 bucks, right. you know. Yeah. But but keep in mind, it's only temporary because our next step is we have distribution in Miami now, and of course we have Louisiana. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have our importer out of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So as we connect those dots, then we're sending some pallets. Okay. okay. So once the pallets arrive, then we can drop ship. So exactly. if you want to direct the consumer, it's all about DTC. By the way, not to burst anybody's bubble, but uh, right now in England, what's happening mm -hmm. is, and I'll send you some links. There's a big company that bought some of the biggest brick and mortar mm -hmm. alcohol mm -hmm. distribution mm -hmm. systems, and they're like, okay, we're not doing that anymore. Wow. Because they're putting it, putting it all online. Mm. Wow. So because it's not just it's the cheaper. wine clubs, yeah. they're mm -hmm. all yeah. online. The internet, hello. Yeah, you can't yeah, even, yeah. when's the last time you bought a, an airline ticket at a counter? Right. Yeah. right. No. Exactly. Oh, city ticket offices are gone. Right. Yeah. Right. And when you go, we're not even going to talk about exactly. it, but you're exactly correct. So that's going to be a very yeah. interesting. I mean, Uber There's Eats, no Uber Eats. Right. Think no about brick and mortar. Exactly. Okay. Okay. okay, so drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Here's what we already have in place right now. Right. And I, I'm saying this on your show. Okay. Because okay. we like to be like avant-gardist, right? Oh. Okay. okay. Right now, if you want a Le Cool Champagne and you come to one of our concerts, at this point, Miami's where we're able to do this now. Mm -hmm. In Miami, okay. We're looking to probably do Hard Rock. We play at Hard Rock Fort Lauderdale all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, cool and Gang will be at Hard Rock in Atlantic City, by the way, New Year's Eve, so you're invited. Oh. But right now, once we get a show in Miami, you can actually be in your seat, watching a concert, order a little cool champagne, it'll get delivered outside within the hour. Now, That's now, cool. follow me. We can do that in Miami right now. My goal is to do it in every city on earth. Oh, nice. Now, of course, you got to be of age, but yeah. that's what it's all about. Wow. Because yeah. think about it. Mm -hmm. You got to ask yourself, well, if I can get on my phone, get Uber Eats to deliver a sandwich. Why can't I do a bottle right. of champagne? Yeah, there you go. Why Thank can't you. I do a bottle so, of champagne? So, boom, yeah. boom, boom. And that can be no more direct to the consumer than that. Than that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. So, so, we're set up to do that now. We're actually... Another place, which is very interesting, I just discovered this recently. Ulfa showed me this. Are you familiar with Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yo, bananas. It's just like, <laughs> you can get whatever you want. Well, we are in Facebook Marketplace, like, any moment. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got to wrap, wrap, wrap it up? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. So, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, exactly. keep it real. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 
really appreciate you. We totally where, appreciate where can everybody it. follow you on social media? Yeah. Do you know your handle and stuff? Yeah, it's luckily there's one of me in the world, Mohammed Moretta. So you type in Mohammed Moretta and it'll, okay. it'll find me. M O H A M E D. Okay. Moretta's M O R E T T A. But please tag whenever possible just cool. Because that's easy. And Le Cool Champagne. And, it, and it's Robert Cool Bell. Obviously, you see his name on the bottle, which we're very proud of that. So does the champ so does the champagne itself has have its own social, social media. media. Like at Le well, it's cool at Champagne. Le Cool Champagne. Okay. Okay. At Le Cool Champagne. At Le cool Champagne. Okay. Yeah. okay. And it is on Facebook as at Le Cool Champagne because I did tag. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Well, awesome. we thank you so much thank for coming. So much. This was thank outstanding. You. This thank is you for made, sharing and your this champagne is marvelous. With us. This is awesome. And I've already I got tears in yeah. my eyes. I've so. already reviewed a, a did a short review of this. Oh, yeah. we laughed. Y'all got to give me some sort of like, hey. We're about to do this. Yeah. I didn't what know. You no, mean? no, no, you this is world sweet. You see, I know why you don't act like. <laughs> Listen, this is our last interview. So, so it's really on and popping, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on? I'm happy to be here. Happy to see hey, you guys out here yeah. doing your thing. First time I got interviewed, I'm, you know. No, okay, so now, so now he, he putting on some blast. But First of all, Boom Selection Distribution in the house on the Swirl Suite. And if we could turn the camera around, his better half is over there taking a picture. <laughs> she didn't want to be. Oh, we got you. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Larry, tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Larry Boone. I uh, own Lawrence Boone Selections. We import and distribute wines in uh, the Mid Atlantic region right now, and mm -hmm. uh, we're just here supporting uh, the black wine experience. And the Big Easy. That's what Love I do. It. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you guys drove here. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we waited to the last minute to actually decide we were going to come. So. Uh, we drove 17 hours. We got here 7:30 oh this God. morning, and no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Right. This is what I wore when I got here. I wouldn't be able to do it. Nah, I'm not happy. Did you stop? <laughs> Wait, did you stop? No. Uh, we uh, took turns. Uh, I drove Ooh. the majority of the time, but I'd hop in the seat. Doreen would drive an hour mm. or two, and I'd hop back wow. in. Man. This is what you talk. This is a classic case of grinding. Yeah. And you know, supporting yeah. your own business yeah. and making sure yeah. you're the mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. that folks see when you have your product out for other people to taste. Absolutely. It's commitment yeah. and endurance. And support, because if it was anybody but to her, hell no, I wouldn't have driven that here. I would tell you all that right now. She would have got a, I'm sorry, and uh, <laughs> holler back at you. Get at me next year. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> so, Larry, you bought us some wine. What yeah. do you have here? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's uh, Colo Costa Blanc. Mm -hmm. It's uh, from one of our producers in Spain. Uh, it was a school project uh, that Maria did. 95% of the wines in uh, Freya Rat are red wines. They decided to do something different. It's a white wine. It was such a big hit. Uh, they've continued to do it for the last four or five years. Uh, we love it. Uh, right now, I don't think anyone else has it. We're the sole importer of it right now, so uh, enjoy it. And it's we're gonna taste it live. It <laughs> I'm horrible pouring wine, so. Uh, oh, Larry. You do good. Uh, I'm horrible at a whole lot of things. <laughs> He's do good at getting it here in the <laughs> U.S., so okay. that, that's what counts. There you, go. you can always hire people to do what, do this piece. Thank you. All right. I mean, you're real good at popping bottles because you came to our uh, our meet and greet. And hey, just start so ordering. <laughs> well, I can do that well. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really white Grenache uh, yeah. Ooh, and white carry-on. And they only make about 2,000 bottles. Uh, uh, nice. And we do well with this and, and uh, the DMV. Uh, right now, we're, we're already sold out. Uh, most of it's at Dio, Grand Cotta. Zachy's, the usual suspects for us, uh, MacArthur Beverage, uh, okay. and they took it all. Is uh, this considered a, one of your natural wines as well? This is a natural wine. Uh, the two sisters, uh, Maria and Nuria, they uh, they they went off the 
the beaten path their father normally does old style prayer rats uh big wines uh tannic uh high alcohol also heavily aged and uh they wanted something new fresh different they went with this white wine they also make a red from 100 percent grenache that is a, a a young red wine meant to be drank now and uh I, I love everything they're doing and uh, those two wines are natural and it fits into what we're doing. So we do not carry the father's wines just because they're good wines, mm -hmm. they just don't fit what we like and okay. uh, we like the two sisters wines and what they're doing. Can you tell um, our listening audience what is meant by natural wine, quote unquote? Uh, the simple answer and the quick answer right. is the... It, they use natural yeast instead of uh, uh, store-bought yeast or uh, yeast that artificial yeast that gives a uh, winemaker a known end product. Uh, okay. Natural yeast, uh, whatever on the grapes, whatever is in the wine mm -hmm. winery, and uh, it can yield un, uh, unwanted results. So, That's right. Yeah. That is just the uh, the risk you, you're willing to take to get a product that is. It's natural, uh, without any added additives, additives yeah. added right. to the uh, finished product. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's Excellent. why we, we, I like it. I like mm -hmm. that process. This is nice. This is very nice. Can I ask you a question? Oh. You, you know so much about wine, uh -oh. and I heard your story. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and I heard your story about how you and your wife traveled through Spain, discovering different wines. What made you decide to be like an importer versus like an actual winemaker? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, importing fit what I was doing at that time and what I thought I would be doing now and uh, I still wanted to work and just import and find distributors to get our wines too uh, so I would have never had time to truly uh, make wines myself. I have taken viticulture classes because that's not something that I don't I, I deem not I, I, it's something I would not say I wouldn't do in the future, right. but it's something I cannot do now. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's the reason that I, I, I moved forward with the importer uh, angle. I didn't want to distribute either. Uh, distribution was forced upon me. Mm. I still would much rather just import, find uh, distribution uh, across the states. But when we originally started, we had issues finding distribution, so uh, it forced my hand. I mean, now. We don't have the same issues. We have distribution partners seeking us, but uh, it's well, what still did it take to get there? <laughs> right, right. A whole lot of work and just proving that our wines were good and that we would be willing to do whatever it would take to help sell those wines, to help back the uh, distributor, to do whatever it, it, it would take, uh, and. You can have good wines if you got nobody backing, selling them, or no one interested in tasting them. They can be great, but if exactly. no one wants to taste them, right. yeah. they just go sit in the warehouse. Right. Yeah. And, the warehouse just don't exist. Exactly. and it yeah. just took exist. a lot of time breaking down doors of people trusting that we had good wines and they would be all right. All right, let's try yeah. it. Uh, it's that trust factor, and that's yeah. been a common building thing relationships this weekend. Yeah, building relationships and trust and being the face of what you're trying to sell. Yeah. People need to have their hands on. It's a process. That thing, it, it, you're just not going to jump in the game and think you're just going to sell wine. Yeah. Right. It, it normally takes a while. And, and I've seen winemakers, importers, distributors, and they all say the same thing. Uh, I, I, and I will say this, I still think African Americans on a whole do face obstacles that others may not. But this other importers will tell you the same thing it's just going to take time it's going to take knocking on doors right. yeah. re just repetition going to see the same person yeah. and wearing them down so it may take us a little longer but it it, it, it just worked yeah right just putting it in grind. the work yeah putting in the work wow so the process that process that is colorblind regardless of oh i think so I, and i've gotten in arguments with people who say not i do think Everyone faces it. I do think African Americans or minorities may face it more or face it yeah. in different in, in, in different ways. But I think it's colorblind. I think I, I, if I you think a so. small importer, you are uh, a threat to the bigger importer and distribution houses, right. and they do things <laughs> that I've seen where they. It, 
they can make it hard for you to get uh, clients. They could yeah. uh, say things or do things that just yeah. force kinda, you out. Kind of like blackballing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can make sure you don't get your wines yeah. where you want them to go. No, no, no. So uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's colorblind. Yeah, uh, very much so. So, Larry, tell us, like, what, what was your background? Because we had to ask this question a couple of other interviews. What was your background before getting into this particular business? I had none. I was not. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no lie, that Dorena, I, I had no I'm interest sorry. in wine. Uh, I went over Europe because I was a soccer fan, and dude said, hey, you want to go to Barcelona? I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> so we went down there, and uh, he was like, I'm going to order some wine with, some, uh, with the food, and he ordered it. I'm like, what the hell? What, what, what is this? <laughs> so I got back home, and I didn't know anything about wine so I started taking classes and it's just one of those slow so processes. Wait, your visit to Barcelona oh, and tasting the wine with the Sparked food. it. I'm going to tell you that Got right it. now. I jumped wow. back home. Wow. And that's how I work. I didn't understand anything about it so I do think that if you're going to get in this business uh, it is best to get some sort I'm not saying you got to get all the accreditations. Mm. I'm not saying you got to be a master song. Would it help? Hell yeah. yeah right. But uh I don't think it's necessary, but for me, it's I perfect. wanted it to. I wanted to know what I was doing yeah. and what yeah. you were talking about. Right? And I knew if I went to a producer and say, "Hey, I want to sell your wines," mm-hmm. and you I didn't know what I was talking mm-hmm. about, or I didn't have some yeah. sort of so credentials, credentials behind me, mm-hmm. they were not even going to bat an eye just and just sure. say, "Go, go, mm-hmm. young man, go." Right, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, because it's not like. It. <laughs> And that was that one. Like, hey, you do <laughs> Thank you. Go forth and go on. <laughs> because it's not like it's a family member who, okay, you're growing up in this industry and we built the business for you. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. That, that, mm-hmm. that, that's a difference. Yeah. Wow. That's outstanding. That is, that's yeah. an interesting dynamic. So, what's next for Boone Selections? Well, well, go give us some, <laughs> give some wine. new and exciting I'm always, stuff. Looking for wines. We just got back from France. Uh, we just started bringing in French wines. We have a champagne, mm. a burgundy. Yeah, you tasted those. Yeah. And uh, we found some new wines while we were over there. We do finally have the South African guys on cusp to be oh, brought nice. over here. Nice. And uh, that's it. We need to talk we- about that because I have a new African restaurant that would talk to me oh, about right. bringing in yeah. African wines. Yeah. And I- we're going to do a podcast with it. I'm like, I. Oh, let me talk find out how I can get you some African wine. Okay, too. yeah. So I, yeah. definitely if I can Them yeah. two brothers are uh, I'm excited about them and, and we got also a girl coming from South Africa. And all three of them were from Zimbabwe. They nice. uh, were uh, refugees who uh, planted themselves in uh, South Africa and, and started making wine. So wow. I think it's I'm always excited. finding new wines because yeah. uh, what we do is we're a small importer. We we bring in family owned wine makers so the thing about doing that, they make only a small amount of wine. So uh, I think right. is to have a lot of winemakers that make small amounts of quality wine. Yeah. So I'm always on the hunt. That's okay. nice. This That's is so awesome. fruitful. This is phenomenal. This, yeah. this, is, this is wine is great. Oh. But I think like, like, like this is the perfect example of why we even do this. Exactly. Like, these stories like this. I mean, Sorry. you're a small importer and you're just focusing on bringing in even smaller wineries, boutique wineries, classic wines that are well made and it's fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And see, now I can handle an interview like this. When you What's bombarded me and Zachy's, there is no difference. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready to be like just bombarded. Oh my God. It, it was me by myself. <laughs> I had my phone. Like, That's you know, what he is. She had the mic in your Yeah, she did. She was like, I'm, I'm sitting there with uh, Tatiana. I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. <laughs> I, I asked him one question. I held my phone up. Uh, that made him nervous. This one here <laughs> is, is more laid back <laughs> and relaxed. So, okay, so he need wine. Right, he need wine. wine. We he need a couch. Yeah. Yeah. The couch. He's <laughs> sipping in the squirrel street. This is what we do. And Doreen is over there. She's and making me calm. Yeah, his better half got it. Always got knows. the button like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you see him jump every once you press him up. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm on the street. Uh. Behind every good strong man is a strong black woman. And 
She tired now. Okay. She drove. I mean, we are all tired. Oh, oh, we yeah. all tired. Yeah. You know. That's just to do that to you. And this goddamn heat. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's disrespectful. The heat is disrespectful. Y'all ain't fun down here. That humidity is cool. Humidity plus yeah. the heat. Yeah. Oh, I ain't ready yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> ain't what yeah. we used to. Nah, I, ain't, I know yeah. my people are tropical, but I ain't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> I know I ain't ready for this. <laughs> you got to get your mind right. Got to get your mind right. I even asked the police officer. I'm like, dude, is it like this all the time? You're like, I'm sorry, brother. Yeah. yeah. And he got on a vest, <laughs> uniform, yeah, yeah. black, black, whatever the blue is. It's, hot. it's so hot. All right, my family is from Louisiana, not from New Orleans, in the country. And we used to come down here every summer as a kid. And back then, you know how grown folks would not let you in the house because you were wasting their air conditioning? Yeah. Uh -huh. We would lay on the porch and pray for rain. <laughs> <laughs> so we can have some relief from the heat. Just so we can have relief. So I understand. Wow. Ooh, yeah. I can't even imagine. Oh my oh, goodness. Gosh. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Very, go ahead. Go where ahead. can everybody follow Find you and your website and everything? Hit me up. Uh, uh Instagram. Because <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say, you know, you you can go to the website, you and people send me emails. I'm not good with emails. Uh but if you find me on social media, Instagram, I'm at Boone Selections. Uh, same thing on Facebook. Uh, I do spend most of the time on Instagram, so uh, that's where I'm at. All right. All right. All right. That's good. All so, right. the swirl. This will, what? This is concluding our interviews for this the day. day. Thanks for spending the day with, with us. The swirl sweet and what a better person to have as our final interview. A DC fam. A DC fam, a <laughs> supporter <laughs> who looks out for us at all times. Mm -hmm. And to our listening audience, the best producer ever. Yes. 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 Sarita, yes. buy me up. Leslie. Vito Noir. Glennis, Vito Noir, we love yes. you all and look for bigger and better things Oh, us. and let's not forget yeah. Nisha, 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 girl, Nisha. Class in <laughs> Paris. Yeah. Wish Bonjour. Here. Right, we're with you. We're yeah. with you, with sis. In spirit. In spirit. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, that's our show for today. Thank you for sipping in the Swell Suite. Don't forget to follow Muhammad Moretta and Larry Boone on all social media. And follow us, like, subscribe. We'd love to hear your comments about our interviews during um, our time in New Orleans. We want some feedback. Please share. Um, we have one more episode of interviews. And then we have a little bonus episode of um, some other things that we experienced in New Orleans. So that's it for today. Happy Wine Wednesday. Drink something great. Cheers. <laughs>